Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about why the heck this La Mer eye cream is so dang expensive. So to start, I don't even really believe in eye creams. I did a whole dedicated video about why I personally think that eye creams are a complete scam. I will link that video in the info box down below so you can go watch that. For funsies, let's evaluate this eye cream anyway. So to start, here are the ingredients. As you can see, the ingredients are pretty extensive. There is a lot of stuff in here, and so I took the liberty of highlighting in darker text the ingredients that I think were a little bit problematic. So we're gonna go through the problematic ingredients one by one. So the first thing that that I saw where I was like, mm, why is that in there, is sea salt. So sea salt is sometimes used in scrubs because it is very abrasive, but when left on the skin for prolonged amounts of time, it actually serves as an irritant. So the fact that sea salt is in here so high up on the ingredients list, I was a little bit disturbed by that. Next we have helichrysum or everlasting extract, which is definitely an irritant, so I don't know why they chose to include that in there. There are some anecdotal benefits to using this extract in your skincare, but truly it has a fragrant component to it, which means that it's going to be irritating. Next we have eucalyptus oil, which is definitely an irritant. Then we have hydrogenated vegetable oil, and there's nothing wrong with this ingredient. I just thought it was really funny that they included this in the ingredients when this is a super, super cheap ingredient, and yet this eye cream is like $225. And then lastly, we have fragrance, which is so unnecessary and so very irritating. And then also, I just wanted to say that a number of the ingredients that are in this ingredients list have no sort of scientific backing to them. There's no research that supports that like a lot of these ingredients that are in here are actually good for the skin. It's just anecdotal evidence. It's also worth noting that this formulation is very silly silicone heavy, and silicone is a cheap ingredient. The third ingredient is cyclopentasiloxane, which is a type of silicone, and it's followed by dimethicone and silicone cross polymer. So it's a very silicone heavy formulation. Um, and like I said, silicones are cheap. There's nothing wrong with silicones in skincare. Silicones are hydrating and they serve a very important purpose of smoothing the skin, but truly they are not expensive. And so the fact that the top ingredients in here are silicones makes me really wonder why this eye cream is so expensive. And I know why the eye cream is expensive is because it's La Mer, it's a luxury brand. So really you're just paying for the packaging, you're paying for the name of the brand. It has nothing to do with the actual quality of the ingredients. Just because something is expensive, it does not mean that it contains expensive things, nor does it mean that it contains good ingredients. Overall, it's like a nice formulation, I guess but truthfully, it is not worth $225 at all, especially with all those irritating um, plant oils and extracts in it, like the everlasting extract and the eucalyptus oil and the fragrance and the sea salt and all that garbage. Especially because this is supposed to be an eye cream, which goes, you know, under the eye area, which is quite a delicate area. That's a pretty bad idea to include um, irritating ingredients in your eye cream because that area, when it's irritated, can make your life really, really miserable. So overall, my my thoughts on this eye cream are that it's a terrible idea for both your skin and also your wallet. I actually don't love La Mer as a brand. I think their miracle broth is a bunch of BS. I've looked at the ingredients before and there it's really nothing special and in fact the miracle broth formulation contains a lot of irritating ingredients like lime oil for example so I'm thoroughly not impressed with La Mer. I understand like the algae part of it is a big deal because algae and seaweed do have very very great antioxidant benefits to them but seaweed is actually super super cheap and so again the fact that it's the first ingredient in this eye cream and yet it's $225 it just it doesn't make any sense to me and then also if you look at the reviews on Sephora the reviews are actually not that great I think it has like 3.6 stars out of 5 stars people say that it's nothing special or that it really irritated their eye area probably because of those really irritating ingredients that are included in there. So don't take my word for it, take the rating for what it's worth. Um, people don't like this product a whole lot. If you are dying to incorporate an eye cream into your routine, first I want you to watch my video about the eye cream scam because eye creams, in summary, just I'll quickly summarize the video for you, eye creams are a total scam because they charge way, 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 way more for something way, way, way smaller. But truthfully, eye creams are just really unnecessary. Just use your normal nighttime moisture moisturizer, which should have a good formulation if you care about your skin. Use your nighttime moisturizer underneath your eye area. That's what I personally do a lot. There are like a couple eye creams right now that I'm testing out, but 
I don't notice like a huge difference in my skin only if the weather is extremely cold and dry do I notice a difference in my skin but then again I could just use my normal moisturizer underneath my skin there is nothing formulation wise that separates a great moisturizer from a great eye cream they are basically the same thing it's just that an eye cream has been packaged in a much cuter smaller little packaging and it is way more expensive if you specifically really want an eye cream and you're like Kaya shut up like I'm not gonna use my normal moisturizer underneath my eyes I want something more substantial then try the belief eye balm. I really like the belief eye balm. I think it's really really nice Do I think it's worth the money? No, I think you can use your normal moisturizer But if you really really want to use an eye cream go for that one. So in summary, I just want to say mm, Sorry, La Mer, your products kind of suck so hopefully this video convinced you not to buy this product. If you do have this product, however, I would love to know what you actually think about it, like your honest, true thoughts on the La Mer eye cream. If you like this video and you wanna see more of these ingredients evaluations, ingredient breakdowns of really, really expensive skincare products, then comment down below with which product I should do next. I'm thinking maybe Tata Harper, I'm thinking maybe Caudalie, um, but let me know what brands and specifically what products you want me to do an ingredients evaluation of. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending this time with me. Please subscribe if you haven't already, um, but I will see you in my next video. Bye!